introduced the clips is that many people think, oh, the troubles and, oh, it must have been an awful time. And in the first episode, you see um, the army trying to defuse a bomb or checking out a bomb on one of the bridges. And rather than the characters perhaps being, oh, this is awful, it's just like, what an inconvenience. And yeah, it's a yeah. completely different look at how it affected everyday lives. Yeah, I, I always say it's sort of about ordinary people in extraordinary times. Um, when I was growing up, I, I got really frustrated by just this, this one view of Northern Ireland that was presented and, and we were, you know, that that was a big story, the Troubles, but there were other stories going on as well and we were, you know, I thought funny and warm and, um, the, the, you know, had a, had a great sense of humour so I just wanted to show that side of things. And so as you often actors say when they first see a script it kind of leaps off the page to them. Was it yep. like that for you? Oh, 100%, definitely. Um, I remember when the script came through, I was doing a sales job and I literally, I couldn't believe it for a comedy to come through about a young woman, um, a teenager. I just thought, this has to be a joke. <laughs> you were doing a sales job? Yeah, at the time. So when, just tell me when this came through and uh, there's a reason for this. How yeah. long ago did this script come through? So it was probably 2006 to 2016, start 2016, yes. probably about November time. Yeah, yeah. So between the then process. and now, you've gone from working in a sales job, yeah. which there's nothing wrong with, to <laughs> Starring in this, being the lead lady in this, and also in Sam Mendes' latest play, The Ferryman. Yeah. yeah. Life's good. Yeah, <laughs> life was good right now. <laughs> so it's all coming, and, and also yeah. that play also is um, taking well, you, something that you can associate with greatly yeah. again. Yeah, and um, being able to play t um, girls that are so young and um, that have such dreams for themselves, if I could have a conversation with 16 year old myself now, it would be. It would be a great conversation. <laughs> yeah. What would be your advice? Um, just to st stick, your, stick to your grounds and stick to who you are and it will all work out and not to worry. And just enjoy being a bit, a bit of a weirdo <laughs> because what? it might get you somewhere. <laughs> uh, what, is there something particular about... Often people talk about regions, whether it be nations or areas of the UK, that have a, sp a different kind of sense of humour. Is there something about the, you know this place that uh, brought out a certain sense of humour? I've always thought so. I I, I think it's um, we 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 deal I think with the the, the darker things um, with a, with a lighter touch because we've had to I think because the troubles meant we were you know living side by side some you know with some terrible things happening so we've we've had to sort of yeah look at it in a in a, in a humorous way sometimes as yeah. well. I think dairy people find themselves hilarious as well. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? They're always yeah. what, taking the mickey out of you? Is that the yeah, kind of mentality? Yeah, yeah. The sense of humour is very, um, like, take it on the chin and it's very tough love. Nothing's precious. Nothing's yeah. precious. <laughs> Was this you? Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, it really Don't you was. just cringe when you yeah. look back at yourself there? Yeah. I mean, obviously, it makes great comedy, and I'm sure you're wonderful now, but... <laughs> yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, I sort of uh, wanted to be a writer. I was always writing these terrible plays, forcing my friends to be in them, you know, but, and, and, and yeah, I should have just relaxed a bit, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and Susha, I, I wouldn't ask how old you are, but I'm assuming you're older than the character you play. Just was it, was, it, <laughs> was, it, was, was it odd getting back into the... You know, the recreation of a school environment and putting the uniform back on, just that whole mindset of being at school again. I'd say definitely putting the uniform back on does something It's in itself. You, it brings you back to school, being in a school uniform. And funny enough, we were actually started to be treated like school children yeah, yeah. on set because we were in school uniforms. But I still do feel like a 15, 16 year old. And yes, if I'm ever like slightly overworked, I'm like, this is child abuse. And then I remember <laughs> that it's not. I'm, the I'm joy of that kind of age, of course, is that you, you, you do the most stupid things. Isn't that you were saying? You, yeah. you, you behave in ludicrous ways. Yeah, and I think um, what maybe we haven't seen enough of is young women doing that. We, we see a lot of men being idiots, young men. But um, I, I always wanted to do that with girls. Yes. What's your family said about this? They've, they're always just trying to work out who's who in the show, you know, that, that's sort of their obsession with it, but they're, 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 they're proud of it, I think, yeah. Thank you so much for joining Thank us you. on the Thank sofa. You. Good luck with the series. The Derry Girls does continue tonight on Channel 4 at 10pm, and you can also see Saoirse Monica, of course, in Ferryman as well. We've just been going for a couple of nights, hasn't it? Yep, so we just opened on Monday. Thank um, you. And we'll be running until May. Have you got to be on stage tonight? Yep. <laughs> and you were on stage last night? Yep. Wow. That's hard working. <laughs>